how to optimize multilingual websites. So let's say you have a website and you want to serve uh, bilingual or uh, multilingual visitors. How to do it the best way so that Google likes it? Uh, there are actually two questions to answer uh, regarding this problem. And the first one is very technical. Uh, Google has uh, um, a technical operator called hreflang which uh, serve the same purpose. So if you have the same content in several languages, then you can just specify that this one is my, let's say, English content, this one is my German, this one is my French content. It is basically the same. And uh, <clears throat> first, this prevents duplication between the, the different language formats. And second, if, uh, if a visitors come, visitor comes from, let's say, a German, a German language computer, or Google.de, then the, theoretically the, the, the German language version is served to them, and the same with the English uh, visitor, and so on. This is a technical issue. You do need to implement it in the, in the backend. You don't see this hreflang operator in the, uh, on your website, it's uh, in the code. So either you need a programmer or if you, let's say if you are using a, a, a multilingual plugin for WordPress, such as WPML or uh, Polylang, uh, they actually implement this feature so you don't have to worry about it. This is the technical uh, part of the question. But uh, there is another uh, part of the question, <clears throat> which goes, do you really need a, a multilingual website or what you actually need is different websites on different domains with slightly different uh, content for each language? And uh, I cannot answer your question. It, uh, it depends on the content. But uh, I see that uh, a lot of times uh, this, this latter uh, solution, uh, so the, the different, different content on different domains is the better. Because uh, your visitors uh, are different from different countries. Maybe they respond to different words, to different call to actions. Maybe they want different things. And uh, just a quick example, <clears throat> uh, if you want to sell products to Germany, uh, then you need to use grams as units or meters. And uh, if you want to, to sell the same products to US visitors, you need to use pounds, ounces, feet, inches, and so on. And this is one, one uh, difference, but uh, Sometimes it just it's just better to serve the uh, the right content and uh, not to let to choose the visitor the the actual language version. So <clears throat> if you if you want to use the the multilingual version, that uh, go ahead and check out the hreflang settings for Google. Actually, they have a pretty good help site uh, on this. I will put a link uh, below in the content sec uh, comment section. But uh, please think about uh, your solution. Uh, and if I, I suggest that if your visitors are coming from different countries, then uh, just, uh, just think about uh, serving them with different content on different domain. And uh, that's another issue. Basically, you need to implement different websites. Still, you can use the hreflang operator if the, if the content is quite similar, but uh, I suggest you to, to serve the right content for everyone. And uh, quite a lot of time, uh, the right content is very different for, for people in, in different countries. I hope uh, this helped. If you like this video, please uh, press the like button, subscribe to my channel, and uh, thank you for watching.